<laughs> my very first Stanley Cup. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if this is going to be the start of a new vlog or not, but if it is, hey girl, my name is Akira Janae. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family before you leave. So I am a little dolled up today, if you can see. I haven't really just been wearing makeup in a long time. So I just got done recording with my other camera right here, the Sony ZV-1. I recorded two kind of like sit down videos. I recorded a what's in my purse video, you guys requested that. And then I recorded a advice on moving out for the first time. Um, kind of already have a video like that, but I kind of did like an updated version. Um, so I'm gonna be editing those two. And then I have another video to finish editing on my laptop. And then I also have two other videos that's ready to be post. Well, I got two videos already uploaded to YouTube that just need to go public. So. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. And update on the TikTok. Yes, my TikTok did stay deleted, banned, suspended, whatever. I do have a new one. I'll post it on the screen and it'll be down in the description box below. Um, I made my TikTok the same name as my Instagram name. So it'll be a little bit easier to find me across all platforms. Um, so it's just underscore Akira with three A's. I'll pop my little thingy up here as well on the screen right now so i got 68 followers right now i wanted to wait until i got to 100 followers to post my first video but i'm gonna go ahead and post it um something with my old tiktok my videos wouldn't really pop off or do numbers until like a month or two later so the video that i'm gonna post today i had posted that originally in february and it really didn't start getting traction until like I want to say like April and it got to 100k views so that's why I'm like I'm going to go ahead and post it today and have you know friends and family and stuff repost it for me hopefully it get up there and then I'm going to post again tomorrow I think I'm going to post every day this week or I may do every other day and kind of see how that does to kind of get my engagement up and followers and stuff like that up but yeah sadly it's gone I'm not gonna boohoo cry about it too much like I told y'all earlier because I mean it, it was only 4,000 followers but it was 4,000 followers you know so I feel like if it was like 100k then yeah I probably would have <laughs> I ain't gonna say that <laughs> no, I was gonna say jump off the balcony or something <laughs> I definitely would have cried if it was like 100K, hell, even like 50K, cause that's a lot to try to rebuild. But 4,000, I feel like, like I told y'all, it's kind of easy to get TikTok followers when you're consistent. So I'm not, I didn't cry, but I definitely was pissed. I was more so pissed than anything. So yeah, that's that. Me and Bae about to go get some food. <laughs> Don't look so excited. <laughs> Why you look like that? What we gonna eat, huh? Who expensive? I told I told him to get this food and I was gonna cook. Did I? Did I not? I'm gonna cook right now. We gotta eat later on. I know. And I told you to get something else, but you didn't wanna do that. Exactly. <laughs> We'd be excited too, boy. Thank you. Oh, well, this mug still sizzles. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Sorry. Question: Do you have napkins like this? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Go ahead. <laughs> You got a baby taco. Hey y'all, I know I look crazy. Today is August 7th, Wednesday, August 7th to be exact. I'm about to kind of fix up my hair. Me and Bay are about to go to Top Golf. I completely forgot that he even suggested or that we even basically 
decided to do this today. I've been working on content like crazy um, all freaking day. Working on content all day, recording content and editing and stuff like that. I have about five or six videos literally ready to be made public on YouTube. Like they've already been recorded, edited and uploaded and everything. I'm gonna upload one tomorrow and then I still need to edit one. Like I have a lot to do so. Um, I completely forgot about even thinking about going to Top Golf. I was supposed to do like a double date thing, but I don't even feel like bothering <laughs> Josh and Deer if y'all watching this, sorry. Um, and I'm not sure if one of them is at work or not today. Um, so yeah, but I just kind of want to go get it over really quickly and then come back. I do got a dentist appointment tomorrow at 10 in the morning. And then I also got to go to work tomorrow. So I really do need to do my laundry and stuff so I can just, you know, get to work and then... I'm going to be off Sunday and then I go back to work Monday and Tuesday. So I'm going to have a little busy work weekend going into the new week. But um, yeah, I just got out the shower. I'm trying to figure out last time I wore um, some cute jeans and a top to top golf when we went in like February. This will be my second time ever going to top golf. And it's going to be late at night and stuff. And literally, I got a lot of stuff to do this weekend and tomorrow. So I'm just going to wear this cute shirt that I got from Shein. It says wild fire. Um, I was gonna actually wear this to the zoo in Cali, but I'll probably put this on. I don't think I really wanna wear pants. I may go ahead and put on some shorts because I don't wanna be burning up. Um, let me check the weather because obviously it's gonna be dark. We're not going until eight o'clock. And I think we have our lane up until like two hours. So it's 7.15 and yeah, the sun gonna set at 8.05 and it's gonna be 82.79 degrees so by the time we leave yeah it'd be about 79 degrees so i'm probably just gonna throw on some shorts really quickly why oh, is not tracking me so yeah i'm probably gonna throw on some shorts really quickly with that but i don't know exactly where my shorts are good thing my legs and stuff are shaved okay these ones are way too tight and short we're not doing that today i like these ones but they got them like little strings and stuff on them so that's not really the vibe either oh i'm so tired i did want to say though if you guys don't follow my new tiktok go follow it it is the same as my instagram handle underscore akira with three a's yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed um i don't really plan on doing any makeup or anything because yeah i mean it's gonna be dark and I'm maybe I got my man. <laughs> I ain't trying to look good for nobody. So I may fill in my eyebrows, you know, something like that. But other than that, I'm not gonna do too much because like I told y'all, I got a dentist appointment. I got a busy, busy weekend for the rest of the week. Like I've been off from my actual, you know, hospital job, but baby, I've been pulling 12 hour shifts with this content stuff. Like if y'all follow me on Instagram, you guys saw that I literally started editing from like 11 a.m. that morning and didn't get done until literally like midnight is when I actually stopped. So over a 12 hour shift. And it's just, I think I told y'all before, my boyfriend be like, he never seen somebody that work so much harder outside of work, you know? So, I mean, hey, you just gotta do what you gotta do to get where you want to go so and i probably wear and that's the thing like i was on fashion nova earlier looking at just random basics and um shoes a little bit of two-piece sets because i don't have any like lounge not really i guess lounge around clothes but i also don't have many like basics stuff that you can just throw on and go like a cute little matching two-piece set so i've been looking at that i've been looking on amazon as well but they're a little pricey on there but i've been on fashion nova i've been on shein i found a lot of stuff on shein actually and fashion nova i've been looking on there because i do have a credit of about what is it about like 80 dollars from that stuff that i returned um so i'm gonna buy a pair of pants and some more stuff from them but i'm just basically trying to get my fall stuff like my fall collection together. Why does this feel bigger than it did? This is a size small, y'all, and it looks huge. Oh, I can actually, I did not wear these shorts. I forgot I bought these. These are from Shein. These aren't the, the other shorts I had, they were from Target, but I definitely like these a little better. Um, Let me see, how do I wanna wear this shirt? And I'm thinking gold accessories with this. That's what it's giving. 
I might just pin it up in the back. I just feel like this shirt is so dang big. Like, why is the neck hole that big? I feel like it should, I don't know. Let me put my glasses on because girl, I can't even see anyway. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna wear this because I feel like it's effing huge up here at the neckline. Like, why is my neckline hanging down like that? I do want to wear the shorts, but I'm going to have to try to find another shirt. Change my pants again. <laughs> uh, I just cannot. Like, I literally, like I said, I either have stuff for, like, special events, like dressy clothes, or I have, you know, lounge around clothes or athletic clothes. That is all I have. I have nothing more, nothing less. So, I'm just going to have to splurge on some freaking... basics and the basics that i do have it's like i've had those for years and they just don't like you know they're not they don't hold up as well so i have been on literally every single um clothing site window shopping adding stuff to my cart for basics and winter clothes and stuff like that because i literally just have nothing to just throw on and go and it's really bad and it's driving me insane for things like this and like since i am trying to be more consistent in vlogging and stuff like i can't be up on camera in a freaking oversized t-shirt that i haven't had since high school you know like i can but you know y'all know what i mean and youtube y'all see me in every form possible and i want to get into you know more sh short form content a lot of damn my lives and videos like that and girl, I can't be in the same shirt <laughs> in every single video. So yeah, I just put some Miel on my scalp. I've been doing that literally since I got my braids. So I feel like that is also why my hair has been growing so much. Um, I measured my leave out, well not my leave out, I measured my new growth and it's definitely one inch. It's almost to an inch and a half of new growth. So y'all know I literally got my hair bleached completely blonde and look at all this black that's in my head now so yeah a ton i'm gonna put a little bit of water and then just spray it on the braid all right oh i'm just so excited about my little purse i got perfect thing. hello hey all right let's pack her up what all right Lip gloss, AirPods, license. I'm gonna put my license in this little bitty flip piece right here because it got a magnet that um holds that under so I don't lose my license out of there just in case. And then the phone, I'm gonna put in the back. We're at Top Golf now. We're waiting on our server to come. <laughs> Babe, come on. <laughs> Let me stop because I forgot how to play too. <laughs> I'm about to start crying, laughing. <laughs> Babe. You done swung 20 times. Not good. <laughs> okay. drink you guys and it's cute it's like a little golf puck not puck golf club <laughs> a golf club at the end of it we got a cherry lime something can i take it off <laughs> good yeah it is i got tater tot I'm at 92 here at 47. <laughs> I might come back, so let me be quiet. You'll be like knocking it down. 
You have fun? <laughs> you want to hold me now? <laughs> you have fun? Yes. I have fun. How many games you win? <laughs> Don't be an ass. <laughs> How many games you win? Enough. I want about four or five. Okay. Here goes my dog on a day. <laughs> He, he mad because he only won one. I mean, get in the car. Get in the truck. Bro. Love Top Golf. 10 out of 10. I did really, really good this time. Better than the first time we came. Wait, talk to your people. They always look over here at me. Go on, tell them. Woo! I already told them I won like five games. Right. He won one. <laughs> Cheating. Barely hitting the ball and you scoring points. I'm I'm chunking that ball right here. Because right. you got to focus on what game we playing. Yeah, 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 yeah. We weren't playing how far someone can hit. That was the other game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we about to go back to me house though. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow probably. This camera looks really, really good in low light. Like, let's get into it. Period. All right, hey y'all. Today is Thursday, August 8th. <gasps> it's my niece and nephew's birthday. I gotta tell them happy birthday. I wanna vlog on here or my other camera? I think my other camera, the quality may look a little bit better. All right, so I just switched cameras. I was on the DJI, but I think I kind of like this quality a little bit better right now. I feel like the DJI, it was a little bit brighter. Um, I just got back from the dentist. I didn't take out this time because, yeah, I was trying to get in and out. Um, but y'all know my cousin is my dental hygienist, so she cleaned my teeth all of that. I do need to eat. I had to wait 30 minutes before I could eat. So I'm going to go ahead and cook me something to eat, and then I'm going to pop my mizzen line back in. But, yeah, I just got back home. Um, got some goodies from... The dental office she gave me two more toothbrushes and i got ooh, a lot of toothpaste yes i got the crest pro health gum Defo detoxify deep clean two of those i see a lot of girlies using crest and then i got a colgate and then this is just some chapstick from their um local office so i usually use colgate i'm definitely a colgate type of girl but i do see a lot of girlies on tiktok and stuff always raving about the crest so i'll probably get crest next time but i mean they all really kind of just do the same stuff for me so anyways y'all know my birthday was last week she forgot to bring my gift <laughs> to my birthday dinner so this is the gift that she gave me super excited to open this i already see this is in the bag <laughs> so that's a little spoiler alert but i'm super excited to see what else is in here um sir get out my bag <laughs> he all in my bag this is for me not you all right we're just gonna unbox everything <gasps> oh my gosh she freaking did give me a stanley <laughs> And I wanted one so bad. Get back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I swear she is literally one of the best gift givers. Like not even to me, but like to anybody around her. Thank you, Diana, by the way. She literally gives the best gifts to like everybody. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a picture of this first, but this is a little gift basket that she gave me. It is so cute. She always do like the pink theme. I feel like for my birthday, these past birthdays, I've been dressing in like a lot of pink, but it's usually different shades of pink, different type of, you know, styles and stuff like that. So it's super cute. Obviously in my apartment, y'all know I like the black, brown, white type of thing, but in my beauty room, I am trying to incorporate more pink because I feel like in that room, I'll be able to be more girly. So I'm thinking of kind of switching that room to be like black, like black, white, and pink, or like black and pink. Some, well, just add in a few pops of pink. So I think I may get like a pillow or something to put on that couch that's pink. We'll see though, because that still is my um office for like my brand and stuff like that. But anyways, Prince will not leave my freaking thing alone. Oh my gosh, I feel official now. You can't 
First off, you can't tell me nothing now. I got a coach bag. Get into it. I got a Stanley and I got the, how you even pronounce this? A bong, bog? Okay, yeah, a bog bag. So we're gonna go ahead and dip into it. I'm so excited, OMG. So first off, <laughs> I got a Tarjay gift card. Get into it, get into it, get into it. I'm gonna have to call and see how much on here because she didn't write how much on there. So I got a Target gift card. I got Sephora gift card that Bayhead got me. Y'all know that. I love getting laundry detergent for birthdays. Any type of gift, I love getting like little household items in with it as well. So this is one that I've never smelled before. I've smelled the other one before. Mmm, that smells good. All right, then she gave me some... Y'all know if y'all watch my other vlog, I literally haven't had these in like two months. So I'm super excited about that. I got some candy. My favorite candy. Did you tell her my favorite candy, Sour Straws? No? Oh, wow. She literally knows me. <laughs> and then I got... With God, all things are possible. Oh my gosh, Matthew 19, 26. 18 month planner, August 24 to January 2026. Oh my gosh, I needed one of these. Fun tablet. Oh, this is so cute. Now I'm really, if I'm not consistent <laughs> and I got all this, it's a problem. So I got the stickers with this one. I love planners that have stickers and stuff. I had one before, but it obviously expired. This is the brand. Oh, it's from Ross actually. Super cute. I forgot Ross and TJ Maxx be having stuff like that. But it's V-O-T-U-M. That's the brand if you guys uh, want that. And then I got some cute little fluffy slides. These are so cute and I needed a new pair. I actually got some exactly like this already but the inside isn't pink. Um, but they are small. So I'm glad she gave me these because I did need some more house shoes. I love house shoes. She gave me the NYX oil lip drip. Looks cute. I already got on some lip gloss though. Ooh, look at that applicator. I know this is gonna be cute. I love huge applicators like that. All right, I'm not gonna put none on because I have some on um, that's pink. And then she got me some Reese's, love that. I got a card, I'm gonna open that last. I got my very first Stanley Cup. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, 30 ounce. Oh my gosh, I ain't gonna know how to act when I go to work today. Oh my gosh. I'm just so, <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> my very first Stanley Cup. And then, of course, the bong bag. I'm gonna take this to work with me too. I'm gonna use it as my new work bag. And this is cute. I wonder if my, yeah, I think my laptop should be able to fit in here. I usually take a backpack with me to work, but I am trying to get out of that because they do be a lot to like pack up and stuff. So I'm gonna get the little cute accessories and stuff that everybody like to get now that I have one, super cute. And then I got me a card. Oh, so sweet. Literally the best. So I'm about to, um. Take the tag and stuff off of this. I'm about to wash out my Stanley cup and all of that. And I'm about to start using all of this stuff today. Super excited about this. I literally feel like an official healthcare worker now. Like every tech, nurse, whatever you are in healthcare, everybody got this freaking bag. And the Stanley cup is literally healthcare 101 if you got these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up. Um, I'm gonna keep one of these in my little um, pouch for my Invisalign because I do like to take travel size with me to work when I clean my, um, brush my teeth and stuff like that. About to try on my new house shoes, let's see if they fit. She got a size eight, yes. They fit so much better than the ones I got from Shein. And they're like a little platform, so that's super cute. Uh, these are so cute. I just, I know some of y'all may not think, I don't know, y'all may know. Um, I really, really love pink, but I just can't have a pink apartment and stuff like that like i really want my apartment and stuff to look you know like a grown woman and just having the pink stuff like i've done that in all my past apartments i kind of outgrew that so i still like to have a touch of pink somewhere so yeah i'm just super excited i do miss having my apartment though It'd be basically all pink but yeah super cute i'm about to be wearing these today thank you so much again so i'm about to put this up like i said 
cook me something to eat and then i probably won't mm, i probably won't talk back to y'all until tomorrow because i do gotta go to work today um it's already 11 43 still pretty early me and bae are gonna go to the movies tomorrow so i vlog that we're gonna go see it ends with us i'm super excited y'all know i read that book and then i read it starts with us absolutely love both of them so i cannot wait to go see the movie the movie is like two hours long so i'm super duper excited about this um that's definitely one of my favorite books and right now i'm reading another one of her books that i want to go ahead and finish up so i'm glad that she came out with a movie to this one so yeah, I need to respond back to some emails and send off invoices. Just do a lot of behind the scenes stuff. So like I said, I'm not going to be doing nothing that's interesting right now. So I'll just talk to y'all later. Oh, didn't even realize my shirt got pink on it. It say that girl. And then the back of it say that as well. So yeah, I love me some pink. It's just, you know, I had to have my make my apartment look a little bit more grown up. So I can't be having a lot of pink in here. Just, uh, just so you know, ma'am, uh, we're starting to enforce the uh, 10 items of fuel rule for express lanes. You're fine today. I'm just letting you know. People who take y'all job too serious, I swear y'all not gonna win an award. I promise you. So, I'm inside Target, as y'all probably heard. He was like, ma'am, just let you know, only items 10 and under, we're um, about to enforce that now. Like, honey, I had 11 items. Please be so for real right now. Like, I literally looked down at my cart and looked back at him and was like, okay. So I had a birthday coupon, 5% off to pay $53. Go ahead and scan this on my Fetch app. I already scanned Aldi. I spent $58 there. And then I spent $36 at Aldi. So 50, 60, 70, 80. So I stay under my total of $100 for this little shopping restock. And it's hot as hell. So I'll probably talk to y'all when I get to the house. I love to talk in the car, but y'all know my ear is out. So, so did none of y'all want to tell me it's Sunday today? I swear you only crave Chick-fil-A on a Sunday. Here I am talking about, yeah, let me go to Chick-fil-A to get this berry cherry lemonade. Baby girl, Chick-fil-A is closed. What do you mean? <laughs> so I'm about to just go home. I bought a lot of groceries and a lot of like juice and stuff like that anyway. I'll make my own berry cherry lemonade at the house for that matter. It's the fact that I just sat here and told y'all all what I got and I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. Pissed off. Anyways, let's try this again. I got some rustic potatoes from Target, macaroni, cream of chicken, some more bread. I got this 20 grams of protein, um, strawberry yogurt because I think I tried, I think I bought this brand before and didn't get a chance to try it before it expired. So I have until September 25th, but I want to either try to start doing like yogurt bowls, something incorporating yogurt because it is a really, really easy protein. Um, and a really easy way to get a lot of protein at one time, basically. But I, I'm a really textured person. So I don't know the texture of yogurt by itself. I just can't do it. So I'm probably going to try to add in like some strawberries, um, granola. I forgot to buy that when I was in Target. So I'll probably go back and get that later. But yeah, I really want to try to just eat like yogurt as a snack. And I mean, that's 20 grams of protein. And then I got some rally fries. I've been hooked on rallies real bad. So baby, we got rallies at home. And then I got this whole thing of strawberries. It was like nine or $10. Um, I got the big thing because I use strawberries in all my smoothies and I just absolutely love strawberries. I got the good and gather brand needed some more, um, barbecue sauce. I mean, everybody need barbecue sauce. <laughs> so I like to keep that on deck and then moving on over here. 
I originally went to Target for body wash, potatoes, and cream of chicken, but I have never tried the cherry and chia milk. Girl, I smell this in there and it smells amazing. I feel like it's the perfect way to kind of end summer. And then this, I always use Tree Hut, but I haven't tried the raspberry fizz. Girl, these two, I cannot wait to shower after I put all these groceries and stuff up because I'm going to smell amazing. And then I didn't need this, but I do need this. <laughs> so I never seen the variety pack. I thought that was so cool. I know some people like to have each room kind of smelling a little different. So I am excited to put these in each of my rooms. And I feel like that's a cute little variety pack. I needed some more. Really, I needed some more. Actually, I needed all of these. Um, Y'all know I cook every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, snacks, all of that. And my utensils, I swear I run through them like crazy. And especially if my boyfriend is over here. So I definitely needed to get some like plastic ones because we just run through them so quickly. So definitely needed to get that. And then now we're about to unbox all these stuff. All these, my favorite items to get. I think I told y'all about trying these garlic knots before. They are so good. I do add a little bit more butter on top of them and then some parsley. Girl, so good. So I did pick up two bags of those because I eat like two or three at a time. Um, I got some fruit juice, I mean fruit punch. What made me get this was, I don't know if y'all saw the TikTok, it was a guy who was at Aldi shopping and he literally needed a fruit punch but it was pushed all the way back like in the um, little freezer section and he literally was ranting about it so he went behind the thing where the worker is supposed to go and push the whole thing and i'm like you know what if this little dollar something juice that good to be doing all that let me get it and try it so i'm gonna try it out and then i also got some vanilla almond milk needed some more of that i got regular um strawberries because i do like to make little fruit bowls but i forgot to buy grapes and things like that i got a pack of bacon hickory smoke i'm surprised my total was only like 30 dollars at aldi i feel like that's really good and then i got these um pork chops they were only like six dollars and two cents and then i also got oh i got another juice so this is strawberry lemonade um i just wanted to try this i needed like i'm trying to get away from drinking sodas and pops and stuff like that and really juice as well but I at least need juice to replace the sodas and then I can just start kind of going like to just straight water or something like that and then the last thing that I got from Aldi are these um boneless chicken breasts I decided to go ahead and go with this one because y'all know I like to get the ones from Sam's Club but Sam's Club I think they like they'll sell them for a little bit the already pre-made chicken breasts and then they'll stop selling them randomly um right now they're pushing out their baby back ribs and stuff that's what i see every time i go in there um and when they was selling the chicken they didn't used to have the ribs out so i think they kind of just like flip flop but i cannot wait till they get that chicken breast back in there because that was a very easy way for me to get like 30 grams of protein from just chicken alone so i am going to start cooking my own chicken breast until sales club get it back hey y'all um i don't know if it's gonna be the start of a new vlog or into one but if this is the start of a new vlog hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video it's gonna be the start of a weekly vlog today is actually friday um august 16th and if you're new here hey girl my name is kira Janae. don't forget to subscribe and join the channel before you leave so as you can see i got a package in i do have my camera up right there i'm recording on my dji today um because my sony camera is not charged so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox this this just got delivered like right now so i'm gonna go ahead and scratch out my name and stuff because i know this is insulated really good they said so that um everything stays cold it said up to 24 hours after um it get delivered all right so i got the option to do three meals um i think i already showed tiktok and stuff how good does that look and then i got the some B word pork filet with roasted carrots and lemony rice. And then I got Southwest Beast Cavatappi with green pepper and smoky red pepper something. I'll be whipping it up and cooking up in here. So obviously I've seen a lot of my favorite um, YouTubers and things like that get sponsored by HelloFresh. This is not sponsored at all. Um, baby, I paid $70 on my own coin 
Actually, no, my first box, I had a discount and stuff. And I got, um, I get a free dessert and breakfast for life. So this time I decided to get the double chocolate um, bun cake. Girl, it looks so good. So I decided to get that. Um, so yeah, basically the reasoning for me to actually <laughs> sign up for a subscription. So I got HelloFresh because I wanted the convenience <laughs> of not having to just run to the grocery store literally every single week. It'll just be delivered to my door like it just was. Um, I don't have to think about what I want to eat. I go grocery shopping and you know, I usually eat the same things every single day and I do want to start cooking different things. Y'all know I love watching Gordon Ramsay, Master Chef, all of that. Um, all of his cooking shows, Hills Kitchen, all of that. Y'all know that. Love going down real bad. So I wanted to kind of dabble into different recipes and things that I wouldn't just automatically pick up in the store. Like I don't really eat peppers. I've cooked with peppers before, but you know, of course I can go on TikTok, YouTube, all of that and find recipes. But it's just honestly the biggest thing is for the convenience and having everything proportioned out for you. Um, and going by the actual like chefs and recipes because if I go by somebody, you know, everybody got a thousand recipes that you can go by and sometimes it just psych me out when I'm searching on YouTube and TikTok to the point to where I'm like, I don't even know what I want to cook now. So that's why I decided to do that. Um, and I feel like it will be a little bit more cost effective in the long run as long as I have my few little pantry items and the food that I want to cook for breakfast. Like my breakfast food isn't probably over like $25 and that'll last me for about like two weeks. Signing up with HelloFresh with like someone else code or if they have like a special going on like how I get a free breakfast and dessert with mine. Um, so yeah, I saw one girl on TikTok, she was basically like, she just does it until, you know, it gets a little bit too pricey and then, you know, you can skip your, um, skip that week or change the meals or she just like canceled and then she'll pick it back up. So I feel like that's going to be me, um, especially because they have these little cards and show you exactly how to cook everything. So my plan was all the stuff that I just told y'all is why I got it. As well as I'm going to be keeping all of these cards and then I'm going to be using these to cook. Like I'm going to cancel my subscription and then I'm going to use all of these cards to um, go buy all this stuff myself and like make it myself. So Hey y'all, today is Friday. Um, it's the next day, August 9th, 10, 13 and that. At night actually, I'm about to say in the afternoon. 10, 13 and night, I look a mess. No, I look crazy. And why is the lighting not look good? I look crazy, but I wanted to unbox the stuff that I just got from my mailbox um a few hours ago. I'm not gonna put it like nothing on or nothing together until tomorrow. I kind of want to record it for like TikTok or something, so I'll plug in like the short form videos. But I ordered stuff off Amazon. Um, you guys saw yesterday, and I look a mess. I'm literally getting ready to lay down and finish watching uh me and Bay watched the resident together but i just restarted we tried to do new amsterdam at first but he kept we'll start it late at night and he would keep falling asleep when he like like months ago when he stayed at his old place but anyways i just started new amsterdam over because i need something to watch and something that i don't gotta wait on him to watch like we don't ever watch the resident until we together that's how we did Jane the version kind of um the rookie swat like all of those um so yeah i do need to finish blacklist still haven't finished that i think i'm on season like six and there's like nine seasons um and i need to finish i started lucifer as well and i got like two seasons left of that so i really need to just finish those but i don't know when it get towards the end like blacklist is still interesting and stuff and as well as like you know the shows but it just seems like the first few seasons are always you know the best obviously and that just hooks you in so after that i kind of just like hmm, let me find something else that's gonna like you know give me that spark again but i do want to finish it i still really do enjoy those so this is the first package i got um y'all know i got that bog bag and family cup from diana for my birthday so of course i had to go ahead and order some accessories i was off today so when i go back tomorrow we're gonna be all blinged out so i got a little a well you can see it's literally just the letter a in white and then of course i had to get dog mom because yeah i got a little one at home that i gotta take care of super cute hold the charm in the 45 year angle yeah so dog mom and then i got this cute 
little bitty um i don't know like accessories for it um it's like little bitty pearls that you can stick in there and then i got this one because i wanted the like pearl type of like chain and then it also has some cute little bitty other little it's like it's like a little perfume it got like some cute little bears they're like nude color and really like blush pink and y'all know i got a pink one so i thought that'd be really really cute um yeah i think i'm just gonna lay down watch new amsterdam um i probably won't take my sleeping pill until like i'm pretty sure i'm still gonna be up to like one or two o'clock um i do want to talk to my man a little bit like i said he just left to go to work so i'll probably take it at like one or two because i am gonna have to be up overnight tomorrow and i did wake up i woke up today at 12 50 simply because we went to go watch it ends with us oh that's what i'm gonna tell y'all um i should have plugged in a little bit of something i did make it in like short form content but we went to go watch it ends with us um phenomenal as you know, I've already read the book and I've already read It Starts With Us. I absolutely love both of them. Um, I don't really understand the hate that she be getting. I feel like everybody got their own type of um, like niche in their genre, their genre and stuff that they like. And I really like the way she write her books. Um, but the movie, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. I probably cried six times. Granted, I already know what's happening so I should not be crying and my boyfriend was like oh my gosh and he was like well you ain't the only one all you hear up in there is like <laughs> and I'm like oh my gosh girl I was crying not like boohooing but some of the parts definitely made me cry because I'm the type of person the reason why I really 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 love to read is because your imagination is endless um and especially with like romance novels or um like thrillers as well i really really love reading that book it um any book honestly but i definitely love reading that book because you know you kind of put your own like you have your own imagination so seeing like what they put together to visualize the book um most of the stuff is kind of how like i envisioned it or whatever but the fighting if y'all haven't watched or read then maybe want to skip through this if you do but the fighting scene with atlas and um Ryo, top tier the way atlas house looks definitely spot on as what i was envisioning in my head um her baby spot on like it's just so spot on so i just really really loved actually seeing something that they put together in like my imagination kind of like come in real life i don't know if that makes sense so that's why i love to read you just when i read it's like i go into a different like a different time zone if that even makes sense i don't even know i just love to read because it's like i'm out of my own reality if that makes sense so i just i just love to read and get out of my own reality shut everything out and dive into the book like i'm one of the characters so i really really love to read so yeah um that's about it Um, my camera died when I was trying to show y'all me decorating my little bog bag and Stanley Cup and stuff, but everything will be linked in my Amazon storefront. I got the little cute little straw thing, and then this is the letter A on it. So everybody knows it's mine. And then I'll show y'all the bog bag in a minute because this Amazon package actually goes to that. Look how cute she is, y'all. Super duper cute. Dog mom, the A. So my dilemma is going to be how I'm gonna put all of this stuff on the inside um because it already well it came with that one and so some people online they put these little organizers one on this side one on this side i'm probably not going to be able to do that so i'm either going to have to just use this one big one or i'm going to use these two small ones on this side here and this one like i said it came with it it's cute but yeah, I'm not going to be able to put anything on this other side because I got all these little plugs filled on this side. So I'm going to just dump everything out that I have in these little bitty baggies right here. Because this is what I've just been using since it was pink. I just decided to use a little Victoria's Secret bag. But ultimately, it's way too kind of bulky. And these are more, you know, square rectangle and very slim. So it'll fit better in there as well.